Hi guys, welcome to my art studio. As you can see, all of our projects that we've done, all well, this way, all of our projects that we've done are hanging up in my, my art studio. Um, today I'd like to introduce to you one of my favorite, favorite artists. His name is Keith Herring. I know a lot of you guys, if you know me well, know that this artist is one of my favorite artists. And he um, is painted on my door of my classroom. Um, and thankfully I'm wearing my Keith Haring t-shirt thanks to Miss Rice who was awesome enough to pick it up for me at Target when she saw it she thought of me right away because she knows how much I love him. So today you're going to get a little introduction of Keith Haring's artwork and his life and then we're going to do a project together um, that is based on his type of style of artwork and you'll, you'll see what I'm saying once we get into looking at his artwork a little bit more. All you need for this project is a piece of paper and four things that you really love to do, whether it's before or after all of this craziness that's been going on. So I don't want you to think of just the things that you can do inside. It could be anything, anything that you love to do. Um, for this project, we're going to be doing this from third grade through fifth grade. So I can't wait to see all the differences and all the similarities that I'm going to be seeing throughout the grade. Um, so Keith Haring's birthday was um, May 4th, Monday, May 4th. So I want to do a little tribute um, to his artwork and his life. So we're going to be creating just the outline of these for today like we've been doing and then we're going to color them in next week. I hope you have fun and I hope you enjoy this lesson. Artist Keith Haring arrived in New York City to attend the School of Visual Arts in 1978. It was at the height of the graffiti culture. Haring claimed the art in the subways inspired him more than art in galleries. He began drawing his iconic cartoon line figures, which included the standing figure, barking dog, and crawling baby, with radiating lines to express movement and energy. Haring created hundreds of drawings in the streets and in the subways, reflecting urban America in 1980s. He used empty panels on the walls of the subway stations for chalk drawings. Haring's work managed to grab the attention of commuters during rush hour, but lasted only a few days before it was covered with ads. By the mid-1980s, Haring had created large murals on buildings and walls all over the world. He even created a mural on the Berlin Wall in 1986. Throughout his career, Herring incorporated social and political themes in his artwork. He was inspired by artist friends like Jean-Michel Basquiat and Andy Warhol. Herring was devoted to producing art for the masses that all could enjoy. I really don't even remember how the subway drawings first started. I mean, I remember when I started, but I don't really remember why, except that I had noticed one of the empty black panels and it just seemed to be the perfect place to have a drawing. So I went above ground, bought a piece of chalk, and went back down and did it. Give me a break. Drawing in the subway always had a kind of element of um, kind of fear of the unknown because you, you always had to be prepared to get caught. The reason to keep doing it was that you were immediately seeing the effect of what you were doing and you were immediately sort of seeing the, you know, the power of this, of this thing to communicate and to actually touch people and stop them in their tracks. It's <laughs> letters and stories from people of specific times when they came upon the drawing and it filled this gap that was waiting to be filled. It made something uh, make sense, you know, and it made it a moment for them which will stay in their memory forever. That's what all art is supposed to do. 
Okay, I thought you guys would enjoy uh, watching Keith Haring in action. Those videos were from the 1980s, so a very long time ago. And um, we are going to start our drawings now. So here's what we're going to be creating. We're going to be creating an artwork that is inspired by Keith Haring. I'm going to walk you through drawing these figures. And you guys are going to choose the four different things that you really, really love to do. So get a piece of paper, a pencil, and something to outline with because we are not going to be coloring in this week. That's next week. And meet me back here so that we can draw this together. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your paper in half, long ways. And then you're going to fold it again. Make sure that you're pressing down on the creases. And then you're going to open it back up so that you have four separate pieces of paper. I know my third graders, you guys just did this in your last project. So you're going to be pros at this. So now you've created four different sections, which you're going to put four different figures in. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to draw the characters. I'm going to do this on a scrap piece of paper, so please do not draw this part on the paper we just folded. If you want to practice, turn the paper over, do it on the back, or on a scrap piece of paper. The important thing is that you are trying to capture an action of doing something, running, walking, jumping, dancing. All of his characters had some kind of action. All right, you're going to start with a circle for the head. And then you're going to create kind of like a U shape underneath um, the head. Draw it lightly because part of this is going to be erased. You're going to add your arms and legs however you are positioned in whatever action you're doing. And you would always end with these little um, kind of almost like mitten hands. He purposely did not put eyes, nose, mouths, or any kind of clothing specifically on these characters because of the fact that he didn't want you to know whether or not they were a girl or a boy because it didn't matter. These figures were just important to him the way that they were. Okay, so you're going to add your arms and your legs. If you're unsure of how to draw these in what position they should be in, then stand up and pretend to do the action and then freeze. And take a look at how you're standing. Okay, now that I'm finished drawing my arms and legs and head, I'm going to get rid of these lines that connect them. So I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase from the connections, the connections of the arms, the head and the neck, and the legs. Now I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to kind of trace back over. The circle kind of comes in just a little bit and then you're going to connect now as if those lines weren't there. Okay, you can round them out and you can kind of fix them the way that they would look a little bit more normal. But don't, whatever you do, don't connect, put those connections back because there are no connections in the Keith Haring uh, figures. Now I'm going to add lines on the limbs or the parts of the body that are moving. Those are action lines. Those are his lines to show you that you're, that you're moving. Last but certainly not least, we're going to outline this whole thing in black. It's really important because this is actually a staple of his artwork. Everything was, was heavily outlined in black lines, or if he was working on black paper, then white. All right, back to your project. You're going to start in one section, and you're going to draw four different actions of things that you love to do. My four things are uh, painting, uh, working out, playing soccer, and dancing. So I'm going to draw four figures in each four of these squares that show me doing all four of those things. You can add other things into the scene with it, but keep it very, very simple. Keith Haring did not make these very detailed artworks. Everything was kind of just a very, very simple drawing. All right, my first one, I'm going to make a painter with a palette and a uh, easel. So don't forget to create those action lines as well. All right, the rest of them I'm going to create at hyperspeed here, but you're gonna take your time to think about the four things that you really wanna put into this. So I did, like I said, a painter, someone, a figure working out, a soccer player, and a dancer. 
All right, guys, last up is you know what? It's time to outline. Everything on this paper is now going to be outlined. Um, any of the areas that you want to be black, you can color those in as well. But please make sure each one of your figures has action lines and that everything is um, outlined. Also notice that I added a ground to each one of my characters. Keith Haring is also very well known for doing, um, having something underneath his character standing on something. So please make sure that you add a ground as well. Alright guys, that's it for this week. All I want you to do now is take a picture of your outline drawing and upload it to the, this assignment on the Google Classroom. And just please remember, next week we're going to be coloring. Please don't add color to this yet because we're going to do it, be doing it in a special way. I hope you have a great week and happy birthday Keith!